Hi, this is Cody Ray Langston, and um, it's October 30th, 2014. I am at IR Hall at Jackson State University, and I'm here interviewing um, Adrian Norwood. Uh, Miss Norwood, do I have your permission to record the interview? Yes, you do. Uh, Miss Norwood, tell me how you grew up. Tell me what you got. It's simple. Um, I grew up in a small town in Crenshaw, Mississippi, um, with a twin sister, with both of my parents. Um, a lot of kids that I grew around didn't have both their parents in their household, so I was lucky enough, blessed enough to have both of my parents. And uh, so what was it like being a twin? I mean, um, y'all were uh, it had its ups and downs. Um, the cool thing I liked was being called a twin. Um, I used to hate when my parents used to dress us alike. We're identical twins. We're not I mean, we're fraternal twins. We're not identical twins. So, I don't know, like, a lot of people expected us to be together all the time. And it was the complete opposite. Like, in um, school, grade school and middle school, we did not have classes together. That was a no-no. We already had to go home to the same room. So. Um, so tell me, uh, what about your educational background? Um, well, um, after high school, I went to Northwest Mississippi Community College in Senatobia, Mississippi. Um, I spent three years there, and I got my associates in general studies. After that, I went to Mississippi Valley State University. I majored in mass communications, and I received my bachelor's degree, and now I'm at Jackson State working on my master's in mass communications. So, um, how did you end up at Jackson State? Um, where well, after um, I graduated from Valley, I wanted to get my master's at an HBCU. Um, it was either Jackson State, Southern, and Alcorn. Um, Alcorn didn't have the program. I don't know why I didn't choose Southern. I think it was too far. So, um, I chose Jackson State. So, why an HBCU? That's, what was your... Um, I don't want to discredit PWIs, but I just felt like an HBCU is for me. I can be myself, and everything like on campus is for you versus a PWI. So I, I guess I kind of felt more welcome at an HBCU. Okay. Um, so tell me, uh, how do you do faith? How has it um, affected you, shaped your life? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm a Christian. I pray um, and hope that God hears my prayers and answers my prayers. Um, it, I pray every night, so I guess it shaped me. I hadn't like always been the type to pray, and I used to hate going to church as a kid. Uh, so as I got older, I guess I come, I've become more mature. So I kind of. I would say my parents, um, simply because they are everything that, I don't want to say not to be, but I just want to be better than them because they didn't go to college and they just stayed in Crenshaw, Mississippi. I'm not trying to stay in Mississippi. I'm trying to move out. Um, and I don't know, just, I want to work uh, on getting my PhD as well to show, you know, my little cousins and people of that nature, you know, don't settle because my parents, um, I don't know their reasoning behind not going to college, but it just motivates me to want to be better. So I guess they're my role models. So you say you don't want to stay not only in Krishna, but also this day in Mississippi, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. um, yes. So what 
do you mean by that? Um, where um, I I where think, are you going with that? Um, Mississippi really don't have a lot to offer, in my opinion. Uh, so I want to branch out. I mean, I'm in my twenties. I should, you know, explore moving here, moving there, and figure out what it is that I really want to do. I have an idea, but I'm just not set. So, <laughs> so, uh, so, what's your perception on popular culture? Um, you're in mass communications. Um, uh, how, does that have any effect? It does. I mean, I know when I'm at work, like, I can have my books, my school books with me. And my purpose of bringing my school books is to do my work while I'm at work when it's nothing to do. But instead, I'm on Twitter, <laughs> on Facebook. So, uh, that's kind of bad. And I deleted my Instagram because I'm on there like, like so time consuming. So. Okay. Um, so we talked about your goals. Um, what about uh, is there any like personal or global events that have affected you in any way? Um, shape your your path. Well, I don't know if it shaped me, but it kind of opened my eyes to um, a lot of things. Uh, when I was at Northwest and Obama won the presidential election. Um, I was outside of my apartment. It was uh, on campus apartment. And all the um, black kids <laughs> were, I guess, celebrating. And um, the, the others, I guess, they were just standing on the balcony just looking disgusted. I don't know why, but I don't know. I felt, it felt like a relief, I guess. Who was standing about me? Um, the white kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so, I mean, so how would you like to be remembered? Um, I would like to be remembered. I don't know. Uh, I'm still working on working on that. You know, um, it's a lot of experiences that I have to go through. It's a lot of wisdom that I need to um, come across. So I really don't know exactly yet until I know like where I am, like set in life. Okay. Well, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Adrian? No, no. All right. I guess that concludes. Thank you.